Yo, what is up? We are here back for Fade Cloud Skyblock, which has not been a thing in, I would want to say, like, maybe five or six months. But they are fully back for a brand new season number one. And if you do want to come try it out, the IP is popped up on the screen, zap.fickle.com. But this is the very start to the season. I want to get started. We got a crater island by typing slash IS. And I guess I'll just be very basic and then just get the Plains Islands. But I've been asking a few people on the server, and the meta to starting off is to do some mining for tokens and then we use those tokens which actually the tokens are called coins on this server but we use these coins to buy all of our enchants and then we do want to try getting into the dungeons so that is exactly what we're going to do now if you don't know i give away 1000 clouds on every single fake cloud video so the last giveaway winner has popped up on the screen if you do ever win any of my giveaways go to the fake cloud discord and then create a ticket saying you won my giveaway and then you can link them my video or like take a screenshot or something but yeah that's how you claim your prize if you want to enter this video's giveaway simply leave a like on the video and then comment your in-game name but yes let's get started here i have five of the galaxy loot boxes and here's the interesting thing so if you don't know every other season i do one season where i buy things and then the other season that i don't buy anything so this season as at season one i will be buying stuff but then season two of skyblock i will be going fully free to play so that's how we kind of spice it up on the channel i think like every single next season is going to be free to play dungeons prisons gens and then even skyblock so these loot boxes there's one item i really want to get and i believe it is the mining cube or something i don't know but we gotta also try to get spawners if we get some of the warden spawners i believe those are some of the best ones to get from opening all those keys though i got a bunch of exp pouches a bunch of elite keys and also we got a 1.5 xl wand that is unlimited uses that is crazy that's actually really good we got a robot box which is awesome we got a fragment box i got a a venom chest plate this gives us coins boosts we got some booster boxes a bunch of these dragon eggs which is awesome i'm gonna open up the fragments and the robot box we got a tier one coins robot i'll equip that but i got a grind key fragment i'm going to redeem that which this is actually made for spawners i just uh, asked some people in the chat but we can apply this to a spawner which will give us more grind keys which is pretty cool but yeah i got all of these uh, pet eggs i'm gonna open the light ones and see what we get we got honestly this could have not been more good we got a bunch of these different ones and i believe i can equip up to five of those so that's actually not bad i can actually take this all stats dragon and then fuse that together to make it an epic plus uh i guess we got a damage dragon i'll open all of these guys if i can fuse any of them that'll be sweet we got a self oh okay skills a rare skills dragon might actually be the move here i'll equip that for now and throw all the other dragons into our player vaults and then we do have some cubes i'm not going to open those just yet oh wait i forgot about this the coin dragon i'm going to throw the dragon candy on that so that is now level six and honestly i think it's time here to get started on the server now what i discovered is that i went to the slash warp mine and these are all the different available mines and we unlock them with the different mining skills so of course we're going to stick with the coal ore as that's all we have but here are all the different recipes and i guess we can unlock these so in order to craft a lot of these items we need to have the different things from the dungeon drops and then the different mining drops and then we also need money obviously Obviously, eventually we'll get into the whole recipe system and then get into all that advanced gear but i think starting off we need to focus on mining so that we can get a ton of these coins and then we can buy a bunch of our enchantments so i guess i might as well max upgrade efficiency wait no we can't even do that we only have three million tokens let me see here actually i definitely want to be able to instant mine this so let me see what efficiency five looks like okay yeah we definitely need to get a lot of levels of efficiency oh nice i can actually about instant mine it right now i can use the different coal ores to of course sell them for money but i think what we want to do is try to max out coin miner i can get 118 levels and this will give me coins when mining oh wait if you look at that i'm getting a hundred thousand coins from coin miner every time it goes off that's actually pretty good also something i actually forgot about is i have these two oh i got five master keys too we have 20 elite keys and then we have five of the master keys from those loot boxes so i got enderman spawners zoglin spawners we got some blaze spawners now since i have these legendary cube boxes hopefully Hopefully I can get a what did I just do I just accidentally applied a dragon burst cube but it, it did not work but oh wait hold up a 98% apply chance coin miner cube for a 38% boost that is actually such an insane start 38% coin miner boost we get 38% more coins now that's actually ridiculous 153,000 coins so what I'll be doing is just funneling all of my levels back into coin miner and is there speed on this I kind of want to try getting speed I'm going to maybe buy this 
loot backpack and then maybe the shard backpack. Does the loot backpack hold your items? Hold on, let me see. I thought it was supposed to, but maybe it doesn't. And then we also got the shard backpack, which will store any armor shards that we get. Now with this Venom chest plate, I definitely need to get some armor shards and we unlocked them by killing Zoglin spawners. Wait, I actually do have a Zoglin. I'll throw down the Zoglin spawner and then in here, there's the fragment menu and this is where we can use that grind key. But in order to unlock the first fragment slot, we need to kill one million Zoglins. That is crazy. I'm kind of curious though, how hard is it to get these keys? I don't actually think it'll be that easy considering we only have one of these spawners. Wait a minute, this guy over here has a public grinder. He has Enderman, Skeleton, Blazes. Does he have Zoglin? He does, but it's only one spawner. That sucks. Yeah, for now, I'll just forget about the grinding the spawners for the armor shards. It would be nice to obviously level it up, but it's not the end of the world. Anyways, back to the mining. Okay, that is just awesome. 160,000 coins four different times in the last like 10 seconds. I can buy another 42 levels of coin miner. So yeah, what I'm going to do for probably like the next 15, 20 minutes is just keep mining, leveling up coin miner, and then just keep mining and doing the same thing over and over. All right, so I've been mining for a pretty good amount of time, right? And we get about 300,000 coins from coin miner now. I'm sitting at level 1500 out of 5,000 about. My Omni tool is actually sitting at level 11. My skills, my miner skill is sitting at level five. Let me actually double check the mine though. We unlocked the iron ore. Oh wait, no, I have the iron ore unlocked. I got this being at skill level five and then I unlock the next ore at skill level 10. So does iron ore give me more base tokens when mining? And then does it also maybe increase my coin miner? I am not entirely sure, but let's see if it ever decides to go off. Okay, no, it's still 300,000 coins. So I guess just doing this gives you the better ores. I got 43 of these coal ores though. And I guess I should have probably tried using the booster box. We did get a coin booster. I am so dumb, but let's activate this coin booster. We just got to keep grinding. I got 15 minutes of a 2x. I've just been mining for a little bit, but shout out to my dude. Where is he? Salty101881. He won a giveaway in the past a couple videos, like maybe like three or four videos ago, but he just gave me 10 million coins and everything is super helpful because that just gave me a plus 64 levels. So shout out to him. And we've been mining for, I think like maybe 13, 14 minutes. The booster should be ending pretty soon. I also activated that 2x tool booster I got. I'm currently sitting at level 16 on the Omni tool, and I don't really think we're really that close to the next skill, though. Yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, so uh, actually, I guess we should just check my skills. We're sitting at minor nine, so I'm only 44% of the way there. Every single skill, we do get more of a coins booster, but I am getting coins very, very fast, and I've been able to upgrade a lot of levels. As you can see, I just got 375k coins from coin miner three times, which is pretty freaking sweet. Also, I did unlock the lucky miner enchant, but I really want to see what the cluster bomb looks like. I wonder if that gives me any tokens. I I'm really curious to see, but I don't know if we'll be getting to level 25 today. Now, I know Skyblock, of course. Like, what the heck is this? This isn't Skyblock. Well, this game just has so many cool things. I don't really know if I show them in the beginning, but they have the whole... Firstly, they have grinding on top of that dungeons, which is what the sword is used for. Then they have the pickaxe, which is obviously what we're doing now. And they also have farming, which you can build farms. And this is a great way to get a bunch of EXP. What I do think kind of the main thing about this game mode though is you do everything together so now that i got pretty far in mining i think what i'll do is stock up on coins and then maybe get into some of the sword killing which then with this when we level this up i will then get into the dungeons but i guess i'll kind of show you what dungeons is all about so let's head over to the slash dungeons now this isn't like doing quests and stuff it's all just killing mobs and the first dungeon here is the glacial dungeon level zero combat required so i can happily go in and as you can see there's these glacial wraiths and i don't actually deal amazing damage it's not horrible but it's not amazing now from killing these guys which i just got one tapped from killing those guys i got something called the powdered snow which i believe that is just a money drop and we can sell that for money but in order to progress to the different dungeons i guess we should start with the glacial gear and then this will require eight ice crystals which we get these from the drops and then 10 of the coal ore which we already have so if we actually take this and get all these ice crystals i could actually buy all this stuff and wait look at this too they even have the glacial totems which this can give you an exp coins or money totem okay this is actually pretty sick and then there's actually separate swords for the dungeons that have higher tier damage hold on i want to see how hard it is to get some of these ice crystals i also need to not get hit otherwise i'll just die i don't know if you're actually able to fly but i might be cheating come on these guys are killing all my mobs yeah i'm pretty sure i'm not supposed to be flying so maybe i was just cheating right there i don't know oh wait i actually got an ice crystal combat level up to level 
to. Okay, I kind of died again. That is not very great. Just need to get a few more kills and then I can keep getting these ice crystals and then I can buy some armor. Oh my god, there's so many. I died like three more times, but I just need a one more crystal. There's so many mo- wait, what is this? Wait a minute. There's a glacial sword on the ground? Wait, that guy just dropped a glacial sword? Oh my god, don't kill me. This deals seven damage and it has a 10% critical chance. So that guy crafted this and then he must have just dropped it and then I also picked up another ice crystal. Okay, so now that I have all this money and stuff, if I type such recipes, I can actually purchase one of these. So I guess I will grab myself a glacial helmet. And there we go. Nice. This gives me five extra health and and that'll be greatly beneficial. So let me actually go back to the slash dungeon. Dude, this is actually so sick. I don't know if that guy even meant to drop it, but I'm keeping it. This helps us out so much. It's kind of funny. We're dealing 12 damage now. All right, nice. And now with that extra health, we shouldn't get one tap. And now what I really want to try doing is getting a full set. I'm assuming we will need that for the next dungeon. Okay, yeah, I literally still keep dying. This is really bad. Yeah, even with all that extra health, it is absolutely awful. I probably have like 30 something deaths in the last 10 minutes but i do have enough crystals to hopefully buy a few more of these things part of me wants to try a totem i don't know if i have enough oh wait no i do i bought the leggings okay you know what let's buy a totem instead i can buy two totems i got an exp totem and a money totem this is a 0.1x and this is a 0.06x i guess i'll equip those if we touch such totems we have all these unlockable totem slots and then we can equip up to five different types of totems all right this is actually pretty sick and this is a lot like more more in depth than I thought. So I guess if you want to try having the most like craziest start on the server, go do a little bit of mining and then get some of these ores, like get a bunch of the coal ores, then go to the glacier dungeon kill these start getting some armor pieces some of the weapons then craft some totems and then after that i guess you could probably like start grinding some spawners if you can save up money for them because you do get all those armor shards and getting higher tier armors will be good because you can get money armor coins armor exp armor and then even skill armor and the skill armor might actually be very beneficial these are costs these are earned by killing zombies, which I believe are some of the cheapest spawners. And you can use the skills armors to level up your skills a lot faster to progress through all the different mining levels and the dungeon levels and all that stuff. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is keep doing the dungeons, stock up and try getting all the gear, some of the best totems, get my skill up, maybe go back to mining and start getting more of these iron ore fragments. And then we'll go to the next dungeon and then get even more gear. So that is going to wrap up the first Sky Black episode. There's so much more content that's going to be shown in these videos. Like, we'll probably have like 10 videos this season. So, make sure you do come try out the server, of course. I will see you all in the next one. And thanks for watching. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come check out the server. All the info is in the description. See ya later.